Hey guys, I'm going to show you a quick clip of Steve Scalise, and then we're going to talk about it on the other side. So here you go. Look back a little bit. Given where we are right now, what rethinking have you done on President Trump's withholding of military aid to Zelensky um, as he pressured him to investigate Joe Biden and Hunter Biden? And would you have done anything different in 2019 if you had known you know, the importance of Zelensky and Ukraine in this moment today? Well, first of all, and, you know, you look at that conversation, President Zelensky had called President Trump to uh, thank him for the leadership that he provided. In fact, when Zelensky got elected, he said he modeled his campaign after President Trump's. And ultimately, he got the, the relief money that he was asking for. If you go back to when Joe Biden was vice president, he bragged about how he withheld a billion dollars in aid to Ukraine when Joe Biden was vice president because he said he wanted a prosecutor to get fired, who ultimately from reports we saw was fired. Uh, but, you know, President Trump stood with President Zelensky. And in fact, the two of them had a really good relationship. And when President Zelensky was asking uh, for things like javelin missiles that the Biden uh, and Obama administration said no to, President Trump said yes and actually helped Ukraine get those tank busting missiles that they needed. And frankly, they've been using. They could have surely used some of those surface-to-air missiles that they were asking for just a few months ago that President Biden said no to. Last question. Can we, um... Okay, so that was Steve Scalise uh, trying to rewrite history. You know, the, all of this was the subject of the first Trump impeachment. And um, let's talk real quickly about what actually happened there. Because to this day, Republicans defend Donald Trump for what he did with respect to withholding foreign aid from Ukraine, which led to his impeachment. Um, now, I don't know how much they, they think it was he did absolutely nothing wrong. They think that this is, they call the whole impeachment phony. They defend Trump as having done nothing wrong. Now, I don't know if it's just because they're such, you know, Trump ass lickers, which, of course, they are, or whether it has to do with the fact that they don't literally understand almost anything. So let's talk about what really happened and why it was so serious and why Trump deserved to be impeached for that and why he deserved to be removed from office for that. What Trump did was he took money that had been appropriated by Congress for Ukraine. And he told Ukraine, I'm not giving you this money unless you announce an investigation into Joe Biden, who was, you know, one of Trump's probable uh, or likely opponents in the presidential election. Now, what's important about this one of the things that's important about this is that Trump didn't actually demand an investigation. He didn't really care about the investigation. He cared about Ukraine announcing an investigation because this was all about helping him win re-election. He wanted Ukraine to announce that Joe Biden was under investigation so that, that uh, Trump could use that against Biden in a campaign. So that's why he was happy just to have the announcement of an investigation. But here's the truth about how, uh, why this is so serious and uh, how it relates to our Constitution and why this was flatly illegal, what Trump did. The Constitution, which Republicans pretend to support, the Constitution gives the power to appropriate money to one branch of gov government and one branch only, and that is Congress. Now, Congress appropriated money for Ukraine. This foreign aid, military assistance to Ukraine. Congress already did that. It had been appropriated. What power does a president have to withhold that money? The answer is none. Not unless Congress gave him the authority to withhold money for whatever specified reason. And in this case... Congress gave the president no such authority. It had appropriated this money, and the only authority uh, the president had was to give that money to Ukraine. That's it. He had no authority to hold it up. Because this was a defense. Oh, he was, you know, he, he, he was withholding this money in order to see that justice is done in Ukraine. And blah, fuck all that. 
He had no authority to do that. I don't care what the damn reason was. And of course, there was no legitimate reason here. Trump only wanted um, to have Ukraine dig up dirt or announce that they were investigating his political opponent. And what he was doing was using taxpayer money that had been appropriated by Congress to blackmail Ukraine into doing that. That is illegal. That is illegal under our criminal laws and it is, and it violates the Constitution because the president has no authority to withhold money in that way. None. So that's what happened. That's why Donald Trump was rightfully impeached. And that's why Donald Trump should have been removed from office way back then. Right? We never even should have gotten to January 6th. We never should have gotten to the insurrection. And by the way, how much better off would re Republicans have been if they had done the right thing back in impeachment one and kicked his fat orange ass out of office? What would have happened? Mike Pence would have become president. He would have been president for, what, a, a couple of years. And he would have been running uh, for election himself. They would have been rid of Trump and they would have had Mike Pence who likely wouldn't have fucked up the pandemic like Trump had done. And he would have been in a much better position uh, to win the 2020 election than Trump was. And so if Republicans had done the right thing, perhaps Mike Pence would be president right now. I know Republicans hate Mike Pence now, uh, but they didn't hate him back then. They only hate him because you know, he wouldn't violate the Constitution and, and help, and help uh, steal an election for Trump. But back then, they liked him. And so they might very well have, you know, been successful with Pence. They're just so fucking stupid, these people. And for what? For what? To worship this fat, orange, piece of shit criminal. Anyway, that's it. I'll talk to you again soon.